everyone, welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Melody, I am your host, and I'm here today with Julian Crespo. Hello. Yay. Yes. Super excited. Uh, so this is my first time on Adobe Live, and Yay. <laughs> I'm super excited because um, I'm going to be sharing some uh, ideas of what things I'm working on here at Adobe and mm -hmm. like how to create a responsive website. Yay, I'm so excited to see that. You were telling me a little bit about what you're going to be working yeah. on, and it's really, really cool. And I'm excited for all you guys to see what he's working on. Hello to everyone in the chat. Hi, Sam. Sam Anderson is watching. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Yay. Hi, Paco. Jason, <laughs> Mana, Ham Zuhar, Noor, that. Jason, Carrie Ann. Yay. And uh, Tim. Hi, Tim. Yay, hi, Tim. it's so awesome to have you all here. <laughs> hi, Olga. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, let us know where you're watching from, if this is your yeah. first time. I think someone mentioned that they just discovered Adobe Live, and that's so amazing. Welcome. I know. <laughs> it's like a channel. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's, some, you just go it's watch the best. it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so for everyone watching in the chat, we are going to be doing a chat and win <laughs> giveaway in about 30 minutes. And you can have a chance to win 100 free custom stickers from Sticker Mule. And to enter, all you have to do is just be active in the chat. So you can ask a question if you have any questions for Julian. I want some stickers too. I need to Yay. get some more stickers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need a few more stickers. <laughs> just a couple. I want more stickers too. <laughs> Yay. But yeah, so all you have to do is just um, be active in the chat. And then. Oh, Ghana. Yeah. Ooh, Look Ghana. That. That's awesome. And India. Edmonton, Alberta. That's so cool. Yay. <laughs> Sam's watching from 10, ten feet. 10 feet away. from the studio. <laughs> Sam's right out there. <laughs> Yay. Um, and then we are going to be looking at your designs for the XD Daily Creative Challenge, which Sam is hosting. And today's theme or challenge is a writing assistant app, which looks really cool. I was watching Sam design it from where he is right now outside the studio. And so basically, it is to design the composition composition section for a writing assistant app. <laughs> and I will be, well, we will be looking at it on our Discord channel. And if you haven't joined Discord, you should join our Adobe XD Discord channel. It is amazing. Yeah. We have a great community. We have awesome mentors and people that are giving others feedback, mm -hmm. which is really, really great to see. So we're going to be looking in the current challenge channel. And um, even if you're not caught up to today's challenge, feel free to submit what you've been working on from That's great, now. Because you can go back and yeah, the you can go back and... and look at other people's. There's some really cool car designs I was looking at. So yeah, so I'm really excited to see what you guys have all been working on. Yay! Julia says that they love the daily creative challenges. Yay! And this is the link to join our Discord if you haven't joined already. It is bit.ly/xd-discord. Yay. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything I have to say. So we can pass it off to Julian if you want to yeah. introduce yourself. Sure. So um, Sam might have introduced, if you're watching from <laughs> carrying over from Sam's demo, mm -hmm. uh, and his creative challenges, by the way, have been amazing. So yeah. um, just being able to just go through those and watch mm -hmm. them are great. Um, so Sam and I went to school together. We, that's so uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, we both like went to school across the street. So I'm still parking <laughs> in the same neighborhood. I've <laughs> been struggling to park in for the last four years. Um, so yeah, studied interaction design at uh, CCA, and now I'm here uh, to just kind of give you some context of like what I am doing here. Um, and my name, Julian Crespo, mm -hmm. if you haven't figured out, .com is mm -hmm. my domain. Uh, check out some of my, my work. Also show some of my work here as well. And at Hidden Jewels, anywhere you can find social media. That's I try to just get anywhere I can with the same handle. Uh, so Instagram and Twitter. Uh, not super active on Twitter, but it's there. Um, sometimes I might like something and reblog <laughs> something, but you know, it's a lot of uh, yeah. things going on. Uh, so that's that's me. But uh, aside from that, I am an experienced designer, uh, working and living in the Bay Area. But um, I just kind of wanted to like like. Have you find me on Spotify and listen to my playlist? Because that, uh, Ooh, yeah, I like nice. to make playlists. So if you if you have time, cool. just go ahead I'm and, and, and peek, peek that. Also linked in. <laughs> is it also in. hidden jewels? Uh, it is. Okay. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Try to keep things simple. You know, <laughs> nice. design systems, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I am here because I submitted a concept um, to the Accelerator plug plugin program that we have here at Adobe. And if you haven't heard about it, I, I suggest looking into it. Um, actually, can show you a, a quick link on, on what we're doing. Um, 
so if you haven't if you haven't heard of it, what it really what it is is basically being able to create tools on top of XD. Um, XD we know is uh, growing and um, increasing in ability like every day. I, I think I just see people working on new mm -hmm. stuff, and it's it's becoming uh, my it, it is my go-to tool now. Um, but also you're able to add on to it. So if you have any ideas, uh, new uh, new new ways to engage users in um, in this type of way. You should definitely look at the plugin accelerator for next summer and submit a concept. And so, uh, if you if you go to the um, the if you just Google accelerator plugin, uh, you'll see what it is. And um, it's just really a really great structure to help you um, build what you're passionate about on top of uh, an amazing tool. Um, and if you just wanted to develop and get started on your own, there's also a really cool um, just tutorial on how to do it. That's so so cool. you can like quick start and, and just kind of build on top of this amazing tool by, by just bringing what you have mm -hmm. and, and, and what you yeah. do and what you're passionate about. Cool. Um, and so my tool is uh, an accessibility plugin and it's uh, basically an designing an inclusive experience for Adobe XD with Adobe XD. And what, what I'm uh, specifically making is uh, a tool, it's, it's called Ally. Uh, so it's a plugin for UX designers who specialize in accessible web content. And we wanna provide designers with the ability to design document experience for assistive technologies um, and aid with developer handoff. So if you're not familiar what assistive technologies are, um, any way that you feel you're able to uh, uh, like interact with a with a with a website without a, without a monitor with mm -hmm. a, a screen yeah. reader, mm -hmm. single switches. Essentially, um, the one that we are most familiar with is screen reading on an iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, so if you haven't done that, it's it's basically just getting your getting your iPhone out mm -hmm. and tabbing through things. Let me show you. I've actually never tried the. Like it, screen reader on my iPhone. If you can <laughs> hear it, it's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, plug your iPhone in if you want to show. Um, it's no, it's fine. If you can hear it. Eh. How do you start it again? I I have a shortcut because oh, okay. I'm I'm constantly testing with it. Nice. But if you don't have a shortcut, um, you just go to your uh, your preferences. Wednesday, oh. July the portrait and photo. You just kind of oh. like swipe through. Google Maps. Oh wow! LinkedIn. And it's just another Why way to I engage know? with your mm -hmm. iPhone. Um, so like open LinkedIn with button. without even seeing it, you can kind of hear what's going on. Yeah. So one of the struggles that I learned is that uh, it's really hard to prototype for those environments. Mm -hmm. um, so we're creating a new way to do that. Um, and so to kind of give you some context of how we uh, tackle what this is, is we, we create a lot of these uh, these maps to like let us know about these experiences and how uh, and how people are, are talking about this, uh, designers, um, people that are in, in, in this like setting of product design, and what are they currently doing as far as documenting their experiences. So um, these are just like uh, ways to um, enrich what I've learned mm -hmm. and give myself a way to track what people are saying about this yeah. process. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's show you some, uh, let's see. Okay, so why is it important to uh, to make responsive websites and to make uh, websites more legible? Is it's it's becoming law. Mm -hmm. So we are we're getting into this area of uh, we need to build accessibly because it's just the the, the right way to do it. But also mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna step into an area where we need to do this because it's it's just the way that that the the world works. Like yeah. you need to build accessibly, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's. That's kind of like why I feel it's important because we might as well get ahead of the curve mm -hmm. if we can. Exactly. Yeah. So, I today what I'm going to do for you is uh, create a uh, splash page, and Ooh. or uh, sorry, a landing page, mm -hmm. a landing page for my plugin to get the the word out about um, what I'm making and how we can uh, build accessibly. So, I'll give you some. I, I love showing. This is what mm -hmm. I love. I love showing inspiration because I think a lot of times. Uh, we we kind of like build in this vacuum, and uh, we don't really share uh, how we're coming up with these concepts and mm -hmm. what we're doing. So I just kind of like found a few things that I really uh, some websites that I really like, and things that are kind of sticking out to Ooh. me. So this is a cool one. Um, I I just kind of stumbled awesome. upon this <laughs> on uh, uh, Webflow. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is this is probably built in Webflow. Um, 
It's I really cool. Workflow. It's it's not animating, which is strange. I don't know mm. if it's a setting of, of something, but this kind of like animates and spins around. Mm. But I really like the way that um, this this Lemon Street Brewing mm. Company has um, kind of confined their experience to mm -hmm. the fold. They don't actually go beyond the fold, um, and they have mm. these really cool. Uh, like oh, that's so fun! <laughs> animations and stuff, and I, I I really like their buttons. They're they're playful, and it has this like nice Ooh. decorative element. Um, so this is a, an, an inspiration that uh, we can you know try mm -hmm. to make yeah. something like this. Why not? Uh, there's also this one. Um, it's mm. it's is a more uh, traditional layout for a. Uh, for a landing page, mm -hmm. uh, actually didn't know what this was, but just reading it, like it sounds pretty cool. Uh, content management system oh. for your um, for your code. Um, oh, well, that's cool. Which could I've be never heard of this super <laughs> useful if you code. I don't, mm -hmm. but I don't hey, <laughs> some people do both. Uh, there's so if you're a unicorn out there, you know, designer yeah. developers, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a great tool for you. Um, it's it's just a way to simplify your process. But I really like the way they they laid out their information. Um, it's new. It's it it, it feels fresh. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like the bold typeface I they're using. Too. You know they're That's doing nice. a good job with their text treatment. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just they they're following these conventions of uh, explaining what uh, their features are. So that's mm -hmm. what we want to do. We want to explain our features, right? And uh, that's so that's one. I really like their colors too. Um, I I'm not a you know, I, I, I like the way gradients look. Mm -hmm. I'm just not like much of a gradient person. Mm -hmm. I think t Tim loves gradients. <laughs> they're, they are. I, I just, I feel like they're they're not me. Mm -hmm. and I like them sometimes. I appreciate yeah. them. I do appreciate them. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try playing with some gradients Yay. with this cool. concept. Um, this is Ooh. another one. Um, and this so th is pretty. <laughs> this is pretty, right? And I, I like the illustrative elements that they've added. Um, actually, I have a, a, another CCA friend mm -hmm. uh, who is a, a product, a lead product designer for Mira, oh, and wow. they they are they are doing really cool things in the um, AI space with uh, makeup. That's so cool. It, it is really cool. I mean, <laughs> sure, like you can now with a with AR mm -hmm. visualize makeup on yeah. your face, right? So like. There, there's a lot of really cool things, but mm -hmm. I just really like the way they they presented the illustration with this like parallax oh, kind of feel, yeah. um, and then they you know they show their app in you so you know uh, how so it cool. works. So that I think this is a this is a good one to kind of look at. Um, and my last one that I want to show is is one called Stark, and um, oh this is interesting. I'll show you the, the, what this is in a second, um, but. This is a, a plugin for mm -hmm. XD, and I will be showing this to you soon. And what this does is allow allows you to uh, check your color contrast mm -hmm. and uh, and and spec your design in a way that um, you're you're checking for color blindness, so contrast checking. Um, so they have a colorblind simulation that you could do. So mm -hmm. uh, depending on your design, you can visualize it in other people's eyes, which is yeah, it's so cool. I think I've tried important. it out. I really like this plugin. Mm -hmm. It's one of the my favorite ones. I, I I'm I'm really really like this is my inspiration. Like being able to have such a plugin that that can solve such a mm -hmm. problem. Yeah. Um, and you know, colorblindness might seem like. Uh, something far removed from from your mind if you're not colorblind. I'm not personally, but I do know people that are, and and you have yeah. to include them, right? Exactly. Include them in your experience. Mm -hmm. So I thought this was a really good one as well. Um, and so I I, I want to show you uh, oh this this thing I mentioned. Um, it's actually a plugin for Google. Uh, it's called uh, what is it called Fount. So when you select oh. it, if you if you're like ever on a web page and you mm -hmm. like. That's a really cool font. I want to see what it is. Well, you can just like use this thing. It's it's a tool that, mm -hmm. that you can install, and then you can just like hover over any area like this. It says Roboto 42, um, 37. Oh. So it actually defines what fonts are on screen. That's so cool. Yeah. So you can you if you're ever interested in uh, learning what people what fonts people are using, uh, that's a cool tool to like get a sense of what people are are using. So um, Jaydeep. Asked if what plugin is installed. Mm -hmm. um, so it's if you search, it's been a while since I found it. But mm -hmm. if you search on Google, um, uh, Fount mm -hmm. plugin, <laughs> Fount plug for Chrome I'm extension. Sure it'll be up there. It's a Chrome <laughs> extension. Yeah. Uh, so it's really cool. Uh, I recommend it. Um, if especially mm -hmm. if you're like one of those that is kind of like tr still trying to decide what type of typefaces you like, mm -hmm. and 
yeah, that's like kind of hard, that. yeah. right? Like, like looking at other people's like portfolios mm-hmm. or other websites that I come across. I'm like, that is such a cool font. What is it? And then I'll go into like view source, I think, like the code, and yeah. then I'll try to find it that way. But that's a good shortcut. It's a really <laughs> cool shortcut. Cause like, if you're like me, like we, we understand um, how important typefaces are, mm-hmm. but sometimes we don't study them and this is just a good way to like really understand what what they what mm-hmm. they are and yeah. and it's okay like it's okay that you don't know every font mm-hmm. yeah right <laughs> it's it's fine I, sam actually knows a lot of fonts guys so really <laughs> like <laughs> he's a wealth of information uh, maybe he's still sitting over there listening to us yeah. um, so i'm going to show you um, my portfolio um, and and the reason why i'm showing you just not to plug myself um, I, i'm i'm not trying to be any type of way about it. But I, I, without knowing, have been in this accessibility space, um, just kind of um, in many different ways approaching it. And um, so the first the first concept I did was around um, like food and, and how um, being able to support local farms could be a way for you to uh, support your community. Um, so if what if you could buy food from your local farmers mm-hmm. exclusively? Um, so kind of like farm boxes. That, granted, this was this was made during the the times when like plated and mm-hmm. uh, those types of um, those types of services were like springing up. Mm-hmm. Not so much so not sure about like their profitability at this point, but mm-hmm. they're still around, and you can now see them in grocery stores, which is kind of cool. Um, another one was this uh, concept called uh, Planet, which is uh, essentially a way for for you to not only like prioritize or not only plan your day but mm-hmm. prioritize your day and um so like more of like approaching the cognitive uh space of of, of your own organization mm-hmm. um and this was this was uh, uh the first landing page i designed uh that was actually published was was this uh this website and uh oh so this my is God, it looks so nice so this is a <laughs> landing page and i feel like these are the types of landing pages Ooh. that like i like the mm-hmm. kind of like not trying too hard just yeah. like you know, like some, some videos, uh, they're, they're like really engaging. Mm-hmm. And you can, and I I made, I designed oh. this in XD and then uh, oh. exported the assets <laughs> into um, into Webflow. It's, it's, Webflow is what nice. I use to, to, to build because, not because I want to be a developer. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's mainly because I'm cheap. And I don't want to pay for someone mm-hmm. to design my yeah. website, so I do. I do uh, subscribe to to Webflow. It, it's kind of kind of a hard tool to learn, mm-hmm. but if you stick with it, it it's something yeah. that you can make really interactive experiences mm-hmm. with. Um, so, like you know, I, I follow that same idea of like, what is this thing I'm I'm, I'm presenting? Uh, task prioritization, flexible visual layouts, um, kind of high level uh, uh, features. And then uh, inviting people to get the beta. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, kind of yeah. Blocking it, but it's like a. Oh yeah, there moon. it is. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's that's Sam right there on top of yeah. the moon. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is a, a form is always necessary um, to to a lot of a lot of times if even if you don't have a product that's released, it's good to just release these to get feedback. Mm-hmm. And if if you get a lot of uh, hits on your email, like hey, I found your website. And I'm interested. Um, it's it's good validation, and then you can like build a, a like a, a catalog of mm-hmm. contacts, yeah. and then you can communicate with them. But nice. be careful how you communicate with people. Mm-hmm. You don't want to bombard them. Mm-hmm. People don't want to feel like they're they've gotten into something that they don't want to. So that that's something that uh, you need to be mindful of too with um, collecting emails. Yeah, right? that's true. Okay, so that was that was a tangent of uh, a project, <laughs> but um, I also. Uh, so there's there's a video if you want to see what that that thing looks like. And I also really like videos just just to like summarize what you're mm-hmm. uh, what you're making. Um, and so uh, this this was another one I did that was um, around voting. Mm-hmm. So a, a concept that uh, brought voting to your hands. And what mm-hmm. if you could do it with mobile devices? So we're we're approaching the accessibility of showing up to vote or mailing in vote. And what if you could just do it with your phone? And um, so the, the challenge was around like uh, using existing uh, new emerging technologies mm-hmm. uh, to create experiences. And so like uh, we were using, um, this was a team project I must mm-hmm. mention. Uh, I did more uh, of the UX and some of this uh, uh, refresh on the visual design, mm-hmm. uh, but it is a way to um, use blockchain to uh, vote and uh, have more security around your vote mm-hmm. and um, 
uh, what if we could be in our house and, and take that our would time. Be really nice. <laughs> yeah, what if we could take our time yeah. to vote and not be rushed in a booth? Like and that would be kind of Did you cool. say that you wouldn't have to renew your registry? Yeah. That's really nice. Some states <laughs> make you renew your registry, yeah. which is... Or like when, whenever you move um, like to a different state, for mm -hmm. example, you have to register to vote again. Yeah. And currently, if you're not a mail-in voter, mm -hmm. you should switch because mail-in voting is great. I've never done mail-in voting. You I've always take your gone. Time. You could just take your time. That's like it, it's, I it's, kind of like the experience of going yeah. and voting in person. Kind of old school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate. It. I, and this is this concept isn't saying let's replace all mm -hmm. mechanics yeah. of voting. It's just another way another to vote. Another way. Yeah. Nice. And so we do a lot of these experience maps. Um, and Those are so nice. You know. You know. You got your wireframes. Uh, and and just to to kind of side note on on portfolio, I don't claim to have like the best way of making a portfolio. Like this isn't this isn't even like for me the best way. I feel like they're so iterative, and you just mm -hmm. you 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 tell them like a story. You don't have to start from uh, the 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 higher like the uh, the chronological way mm -hmm. of, of of a project because yeah. a lot of times you want to show your best up first, yeah. right? And so like that's why I started with like these like highlighted mobile experiences, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I kind of follow the same template. And then I you know, created my own like visual system that you can reuse, mm -hmm. um, so that's really useful. Cool. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of a... Nice. And this is the accessibility idea of like making voting accessible. Mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, that's kind of like the space. And I'll have some photography if you want to cool. look at some <laughs> stuff. Uh, Sin, if you didn't see Sin, uh, Lago san she does street photography. Um, I, I admire her work. I try to do street <laughs> photography, but those time, look really good. Time's hard. <laughs> uh, okay, so that, let's jump into uh, the. Oh, I think I can. I didn't link it, but my Behance page. Yeah, let's check that out. Because I just posted a my. Oh, I'm not even signed in. Um, Kroll is asking if you can customize a shopping cart in Webflow. I feel like they just, they added like a shopping, like online yeah. shopping section. So I feel like you probably can. I've never tried it. I haven't tried it yet, but I know that they do have um, a lot, they have a lot of modifications you could do. Mm -hmm. And I, I I don't know exactly how it does work, but I know that they, they do have like a new Shopify type of experience yeah. that mm -hmm. you can link in. Um, I haven't tried it myself. Yeah. Okay, so now kind of fast forwarding to like why I'm here and how I got here. So I didn't learn about accessibility until I like true, true like accessibility design until I started um, this project, which mm -hmm. is uh, basically like I, I, I was like really interested in autonomous driving. Like my goal for this project was to like ride in an autonomous vehicle. Oh, it didn't happen, <laughs> but it was a it was a dream. Um, it, it turned into this idea of what is autonomy? Mm -hmm. And uh, is autonomy technology? Or is it just like the freedom to move around the world? So that's where I kind of came up with this idea mm -hmm. of making a, uh, a, a, a lift, an accessible lift that allows um, people that have vision disabilities to get around in populous cities. And we did, um, uh, this is another team project. Uh, I, I basically, um, led the research and the project management and, and prototyping in the UX on this. But it was deep, deep research, like mm -hmm. going to uh, Lighthouse Center for the Blind, uh, learning about all their stories, uh, talking to uh, people that um, use Lyft, that don't mm -hmm. use Lyft, different types of um, the gradient of, of, of disability mm -hmm. that people have, because low vision um, can be considered uh, another form. Mm -hmm. and. Um, for me, like I haven't always worn glasses, and the, f the first time I got glasses, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, my eyes are going. Like maybe I'm looking at too yeah. many screens. I don't know. Yeah, I wear contacts, and I think I was like 16 when I got glasses, and the first time I like put my glasses on, I was like, oh my god, the trees are so clear. Because <laughs> like I know. my eyes, because I don't know. Do you I wear was contacts? Like, yeah, I'm wearing contacts right now, but I also wear glasses. Okay. But yeah, I can't see I, <laughs> without my I'm contacts. I'm constantly <laughs> going like this. Like I do that too when I wear my glasses and sometimes I forget I'm not wearing them and I'll like do this. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait. I don't have contacts, contacts yet. Uh, uh -huh. By the way, Tim, thank you for uh, for shouting me oh, out. Yeah. I'm, Thanks, I would Tim. appreciate a follow. <laughs> I, I actually just 
just posted this because I I've never used Behance before, and mm -hmm. now I'm like yes, yeah, so everyone go follow Julie. Yeah, <laughs> and and I'll be encouraged to post more stuff, yeah. and maybe move my portfolio completely to Behance. Ooh, Ooh maybe. Nice. Um, Julia has a question. Do you always work in a team or do you work a lot by yourself? So that's a great question and uh, I I think it depends on you because I think sometimes even when you're working on a team it does feel like you're working by yourself. Uh, like, you know, depending mm -hmm. on the level of commitment yeah. for the people around you, especially for school projects. But like if you're working on like like here at, at um, here at Adobe, I'm I have a teammate that is a developer that is mm -hmm. developing. So we're working in sync mm -hmm. this whole time, yeah. which is really cool being able to like design and create at the same time. It's definitely a challenge. But what what I what I recommend is um, when you're working with a team, uh, just basically trust that they're they're your support. Mm -hmm. And uh, if if you feel that you want to be the leader in that group, be it. And, and, and by all means, just like take that take that p uh, project manager role mm -hmm. and you're able to uh, you're able to really like drive that 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 experience for what you're making. Mm -hmm. uh, I I do like to work in teams. I feel like being in collaborative settings is where I thrive, and uh, being able to uh, generate ideas um, and just to kind of throw it out there, like there's no such thing as a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Like not just yeah. remove that idea from your head because that that mm -hmm. is bad. That's idea. bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like bad ideas, even if they're voiced, they they generate a. Um, they generate discussion, yeah, and they can like they new can ideas they can, can come yeah, yeah they can lead mm -hmm. to new ideas. Mm -hmm. So like if you ever have an idea, uh, just just kind of speak it, and and you're able to uh, really really create new things out of that. Um, so so kind of so back to this uh, this this wayfinding assist thing. So we just kind of like wanted to to learn how people um, use Lyft uh, that were blind and what they would want and what what they wanted was an integrated experience. Uh, and they weren't getting that. Uh, they had different experiences like Uber Wave or, or different different ways of, of getting around. And um, I feel like the what came out of this though was learning that prototyping tools they don't prototype for accessible designs. Mm -hmm. So they don't they don't access they don't they don't use screen reading. So like it flattens out images. So I submitted a plugin concept that was um, being oh. able to to do something like um, I don't know if this will. Will it play audio? Let's I think so. Let's see. So, so just to kind of show. We find assistance available. Yeah. So, this isn't something that is native. Mm -hmm. I had to use XD. I had to, to use Premiere. I had to use to HTML to, to actually read uh, every Hands section. Oh wow! Driver so I had to, to create an HTML prototype. So this was this is something that is mm -hmm. it, it likes it might look simple but mm -hmm. it took quite some time to yeah, stitch all these different things together, and um, if anybody is interested in like other motion type prototypes that are a little mm -hmm. bit more high fidelity, um, auto animate's great. Mm -hmm. But if you want to do other things, there's tons of softwares. I used uh, a software called ProtoPy for this. Uh, Google ProtoPy. It, it's it's another one of the many. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's <laughs> there's, there's tons of tools out there. Um, it's similar to principle, but it uses okay. more of the mechanics of like uh, Keynote. Okay. So it's it's more familiar for Keynote users. Uh, Keynote is how I first learned how to animate, nice. and I felt like that was a really cool um, intro to mm -hmm. like getting the understanding of how uh, animations work. Nice. Um, so it's yeah. actually chat in one time. All right. Hey, so uh, we're going to be giving away 100 free custom stickers um, from Sticker Mule. So if you haven't entered anything in the chat. Now is your chance. Let us know where you're watching from, um, and we will be right back. Sticker time. <laughs> That was a quick break. I didn't get to drink. Hold on. Um, let's see where everyone is watching from. A lot of people are excited about stickers. Yes. Thank you. It is sticker time. Yeah. Thank you for just being here with yeah, us. Yeah. Thank you. And there's so many of active. you in the chat. It's been amazing. And I, I'm, Utah. I'm always the type of person that like I watch the chats. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily engage too mm -hmm. much with the chats. Yeah. So if you haven't engaged, please do. It's your time. Yes. We're seeing all of it. Ooh, Montreal. Toronto. 
Oh, look, there's cool. a couple Canadians here. UK. Sweden. Sweden. So Julia is from Sweden. Nice. That's cool. Virgin Islands Ooh. in the house. Cool. Stockholm, Austria. That's great. Austin. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Hamzur just wants stickers. Nice. <laughs> we have a winner, um, Aaron Fields. Congratulations. All right. You'll be receiving uh, 100 free custom stickers from Sticker Mule, and you'll be getting um, a message on Behance with more information about that. And for everyone that did not win, you can still get 10 stickers for only $1 if you head over to this link, stickermule.com slash Adobe Live 19. That's still a great way to test out Sticker Mule stickers. Um, there was a question, um, I forgot what they said. Oh, they, um, I forgot who asked, but they were asking if you um, consider designing accessible apps for deaf people, since mm. you're like, this one's focused on like, vis vision disability, yeah. so have you ever done like? Yeah, that's a, that's a really, uh, really great question, because that's, that's kind of like a, a phase that I, I want to move into. Mm -hmm. I feel like there, within the inclusive design, there is this accessible um, component, and there's so many different experiences mm -hmm. in accessible design. I'm starting with vision, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like for someone that's deaf, um, you could totally have more interactions with like haptic, Mm -hmm. um, uh, um, yeah. And instead of like audible feedback, mm -hmm. you can get a lot of yeah, it is I think so. feedback based, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So being like able to um, have like have triggers sense. that yeah. sense, yeah, and like so location based sensing, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. you can do That'll a lot really with cool. orientation, mm -hmm. um, and then and then just kind of like you could still play with the visuals, right? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and be able to have that, but then. Um, maybe rich uh, rich ideas of, of communicating uh, that's not like sound based. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I think haptics would be really- That's really, really cool. I yeah. really like when apps have that and like it's it's not really expected because yeah. like not every app does, but when like that mm -hmm. one app, I don't know, I think maybe yeah. Lyft has it. Cause I, I, I think, don't know. I think we're, we're becoming immune <laughs> to it, right? Yeah. And like we, I'm sure you, you we're, we're kind of similar in the in the sense that like we feel our pockets vibrating, mm -hmm. even though it's yeah, not, that happens not. to me phantom sometimes. Phone yeah, syndrome. Phantom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, 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 we're so immune to to, to these haptic feedbacks now mm -hmm. that we might be um, like overwhelmed by them, but mm -hmm. they because it happen all the time. Yeah. Any like force touch you do on your phone, mm -hmm. uh, and not to single out like I don't know the experience of an Android user. I I do have an iPhone, Same. and it's I, it's not for any reason other than it's just an ecosystem thing. Mm -hmm. um, I I think I, yeah. Androids are great too. Designing for Androids mm -hmm. is important because there's different things you have yeah. to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. um, so haptic feedbacks are 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 just a really a really great way to engage not only not only uh, people that have uh, like hearing loss, but mm -hmm. even for people that are uh, visually impaired, because yeah. then you can, can know help. where they yeah, are. Exactly. Right? It's all about orientation, yeah. um, and so that was my uh, concept for for Lyft. I actually pitched the concept to mm -hmm. Lyft, and they loved it. And and a part of it was um, like my 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 idea was. Lyft is not a uh, ride-sharing company, they're a technology mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. So in order to um, think about their future is, is why not invest mm -hmm. in technology yeah. that helps people around their city. Yeah. So one of the concepts was um, for people that are deaf to be able to, uh, to sorry, that are blind, mm -hmm. be able to guide them to the car mm -hmm. using haptic feedback, yeah. right? So sort of like, kind of like hot, mm -hmm. cold, yeah. right? So the hotter you get, mm -hmm. the more intense the vibration gets. So, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, and, it, and it's completely possible because yeah. the driver has a phone mm -hmm. and so and does the passenger. Yeah. So they can communicate that would be so helpful. with vibration. <gasps> yeah. I, I, I really I really believe that there's mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, work to be done in that yeah. space. If we want to have a world of autonomous driving, yeah, we need to be able to transport people that are blind. Exactly. Andre says accessibility is an interesting topic. Yes. It is. Interesting is how? <laughs> interesting good or bad? I hope good. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm gonna jump into what is a landing page and what does it need to be? So I have like a really quick anatomy of a landing page. Mm -hmm. And um, this isn't really meant to be a wireframe, but it kind of is, mm -hmm. um, just to kind of get a sense of like, if you were to make a landing page, like what do you what do you wanna include? Mm -hmm. uh, granted, the, the stage you are in whatever you are making, it might have different elements. Mm -hmm. um, this just happens to be where where my concept uh, falls into. So I obviously have a logo. I have uh, f some sort of link, I'm thinking features, and that, that mm -hmm. could either open a new page, maybe, mm -hmm. or it could just yeah. like 
jump you down yeah. the page. Um, maybe you want to learn a little bit more what, what it is. Mm -hmm. um, so you have like your attention grabbing tagline mm -hmm. in adult <laughs> bold typeface, like yeah. pretty descriptive. Mm -hmm. And I, I like to, um, I don't normally jump into fidelity this like like this fast. Mm -hmm. um, I usually draw things out on either a whiteboard or just uh, like I have I have a sketchbook that like 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 I always have with me mm -hmm. and like you just kind of use your use your hand because it's the fastest way to get ideas out. Mm -hmm. um, but then so I just kind of like threw this together as a way to like just quickly show show everybody here that's mm -hmm. watching. Um, so state your motivational benefit, uh, and and that's something that's just like call a, a call to like what you're trying to solve mm -hmm. um, and then I, I left some placeholder don't kill me I'm sorry um, but it's just a way to like put some text here that you want to put that backs up what you're saying in the sentence above and then you want to define your features because it's really important if you're gonna have anything like this to talk about what kind of features mm -hmm. you're including yeah. right like you don't you don't want to just say like be vague mm -hmm. you want to tell what tell you're them. What yeah. you're making, right? Yeah. It, it, it'd be pointless to just like, like, mm -hmm. put some vague wording. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and so, other things is making sure you are connecting some sort of benefit. Like, mm -hmm. what are you actually solving mm -hmm. by adding this feature? Mm -hmm. uh, is is it just like something that you think is cool? Um, maybe it's not. Maybe it's actually, if you think about it a little bit more, it's deeper than that. Mm -hmm. And that's something that. Uh, you could you really outline in, in your benefits. Mm -hmm. And then assign a form. It's really simple, but um, this is, I think, crucial to, to how you're uh, gonna get your word out and mm -hmm. get feedback from people. Yeah. If you don't have a, a form uh, to get people's uh, information, uh, then you're, you're kind of losing out on the analytics. Mm -hmm. um, and all of, all of these landing pages, um, hopefully you are also embedding some sort of analytic tool yeah. like Google Analytics mm -hmm. or, or any other tools you use. Mm -hmm. uh, that way, not only are you tracking people that sign up for forms, but you're tracking people that are actually visiting. Mm -hmm. um, and, and knowing, because not, not everyone's going to sign up, but at least yeah. you want to know people are looking. Yeah, exactly. Right? Um, Tim has a question. When presenting your work to the client, is lorem ipsum acceptable? I don't think so. Uh, I, I would say uh, try to avoid uh, lorem ipsum as much as possible. Uh, I, I think placeholder text is is great for yourself. Um, mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like yeah, there's there's definitely like a, a time and a place for it, um, and it's usually for internal use. Mm -hmm. so, but like, yeah. what do you what do you think? Um, I think yeah, I think for like yourself, it's good to do like. I usually don't do lorem ipsum yeah. unless it's like very, very early and I right. just want to see how it looks on the page. But I, I like how you have like the descriptive like lorem ipsum, like what you want to say here, like descriptive, yeah. bold text. And I like, I do right. that so I know what I want to write there. Right. And I think, like I think having that is like, okay, if, if you're still like in the early stages, mm -hmm. but I think presenting to a client, it's good to have like some yeah. idea, like even if it's not the bet, like the final copy, it's good to have something there so that you right. can see what they think and then maybe like change it. That's that's where I and, and thank you by the way for for posting the link Tim uh, the for the for found that's yeah. it's really great that Thanks, you did Tim. that. Um, yeah I, I agree I think that placeholder text gives you understanding of like what your typeface could look like mm -hmm. and, and just like filling the space. Yeah. Um, but try not to use it when talking to clients. Mm -hmm. Be be a little bit more um, in, involved in your um, context mm -hmm. and, and where yeah. you where you are um, presenting. Mm -hmm. um, you're 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 gonna you probably won't get any like direct feedback about it, but yeah. it probably won't mm -hmm. sit well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So great question though. That's mm -hmm. that's really that's a really great question. So that is my uh, my doc that I kind of prepared um, and. Yeah, it, again, like the, the 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 lorem ipsum is like a way for me to remind myself mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I guess with that said, it, it's uh, time to start designing some stuff. Yay. Right? Yeah. So I uh, I know that I can oh also just this is this is just some other um, information. Um, when you're designing a website, like people always ask like what size are you designing at? Mm -hmm. Like are you going twelve eighty? 1366 or 1920. I te tend to not do any of those. I usually what? go. I usually <laughs> go at uh, at 1440. Um, and for me, it's just it's just something that I've 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 been I've been using that size. Um, mm -hmm. And it's 
I, I feel like if you're if you're building for 1920, mm -hmm. like you're gonna have like these really, really like long, long web pages. Yeah. And like I was we made a comment yeah. to you, like, what are you a chameleon? Like yeah. how, how, are how are you gonna, gonna see a logo yeah. and like a menu? Yeah, yeah. That's hard. So uh, I feel like confining it is is important because mm -hmm. that way if you if you if you do go onto a bigger desktop, it, it just creates the the, uh, the left and, and right padding. Mm -hmm. And um, you're not you're not gonna be Affecting anybody's experience, yeah. you're you're just kind of narrowing things mm -hmm. into a better experience, um, and then it, it really helps with the responsive design. Um, so I start I started an artboard an artboard like this, and uh, and I think this is also fourteen twenty or fourteen forty. Yeah, fourteen forty. Okay. So then so now I have uh, my my logo, um, and I I just did um, like a systems font, um, but I'm gonna show you guys some plugins uh, that that I like. I know Sam mm -hmm. earlier, he was like, plugins, like what plugins are you using? Mm -hmm. What's some of your favorite plugins? Um, my, you can't really see it, but my hand is in the way. Is it? <laughs> Boom, right there. See it? Plugins. Oh, I'm looking at yes, the monitor and I'm designing on my screen. Cool. <laughs> um, so so these, are, these are some of the plugins I use. And if you haven't updated your uh, XD um, to the latest version, uh, you now have your plugin panel, which is great. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. it's another way to um, just add some more um, usability of, of launching. You could still access it from the uh, from the old way, um, but now that you have this, it's dedicated. So, I like Angle. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you that later once I have some actual uh, things to use. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a way to skew some of these um, different uh, elements that you have to like see them in a different way. Um, Confetti's fun. You can just make a bunch of confetti. Oh, I've never it's like used that one. Generated confetti. Uh, <laughs> oh, play with it. Uh, I I haven't really really used it, but mm -hmm. I just thought it was kind of fun. <laughs> um, but the one and they have a lorem ipsum. So if, if oh, you yeah, I've used that you've one. used that yeah. one, it's pretty straightforward. But if you haven't seen it, like that's how I did this one. So like if I were just to say like uh, nothing, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then you just like generate lorem ipsum by baking making a, a box mm -hmm. uh, instead of. Uh, Instead of just like a text line, yeah. and then you can just like fill, fill it. it, yeah, and just you can make some uh, different. You can start at different places, um, but you just insert it. Yeah, nice. it's it's cool, but it like I said, try to avoid lower mipsum. All right, so I'm going to show you uh, one of my. I think it's just one of the coolest plugins that I'm I, excited that I've seen. <laughs> um, so I have my. Uh, let's see. This one, Lemon Street Brewing, we like that one, right? Mm -hmm. So if I copy the URL and I go into Mimic, ready? What? Yes. I'm not ready for this. You're not ready for this. <laughs> and you extract. So someone out what? there was kind enough to make a plugin that allows us to pull oh my in God. content from the web. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. I. I was blown away when I found this. Oh um, my god! Yeah, and just just to kind of also point this out, there's there's no such thing as originality. Okay, mm -hmm. we're, we're we we are in a place where we can borrow. We all we do yeah. borrow. We mm -hmm. we we mimic right yeah, as yeah. humans. Like we're that's what we do. Mm -hmm. So it's all about making it your own and, yeah. and and finding your own individuality in uh, these things we explore. And mm -hmm. and this is just another example of like someone's great work that is inspiration now, yeah. right? Which is great. That's why they say mm -hmm. images may be yeah. subject to copyright. Because you you don't want to just put publish work out there that is not yours yeah, and blatantly exactly. steal. Like, it's OK to get inspired. <laughs> we all get inspired. Um, I, I, I love design inspiration. Like, mm -hmm. that's another place I like to go mm -hmm. for inspiration. Have you been there? I don't think so. OK, well, let's really, really let's, quickly. Let's check it out. <laughs> design inspiration. Design inspiration is a really, really, really great place. Uh, because you can now search with oh. color, right? Ooh. So like, I actually, I really like this too. This is a that's cool. this little thing. Like maybe that's an inspiration for something yeah. we could do. So let's uh let's screenshot that. Why not? Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, and so you can search color, right? So what color do you want to search? Um, pink. Pink. <laughs> Did it work? Oh. oh, did it work? Maybe I did it wrong. Hold on. Maybe click on collections. Collections. Select up to five colors. Search. Color. Do you have to pick like from this? This is weird. It's not very descriptive. Okay, oh. that's that's what, exactly what it is. 
So you could. Oh, I see. You could do yeah. So let's let's okay. just do yellow because I like yeah. the, I like this yellow, yeah. and it'll find that yellow. Oh, and it'll just give you a bunch so of stuff. That's so cool. Yeah, I, I think it's cool. I think I think searching by color is a, is an interesting way to um, to create like to to get inspired because you're gonna see a bunch of imagery that you hadn't seen before. Mm. Um, so I, I I really like design inspiration. Um, also, just tangent like. Creating a, a, a like a, a, a playlist, mm -hmm. a Spotify playlist to a color, is an interesting idea, right? Oh, have you ever done that? I didn't do it to uh, for a color, <laughs> but uh, I did. I did create a playlist around a pomegranate. Really? I just find I I love pomegranates. <laughs> Who else funny. loves pomegranates? They're, I like pomegranates. But how they're hard to open, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're impossible. <laughs> so I, I created a, a playlist completely around pomegranates. So if you want to listen to that, go. Oh, it's well, it's so. very strange, but. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so this is a, this is a way for me to bring in some inspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, that way, it's a starting point, right? I'm not going to use them, but it's it's a good place to start. Um, let's look at another one. Let's get um, this one, right? Vapid. Yeah. I like their color use. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I am not gonna not gonna lie, I'm not the best at discovering color. Mm -hmm. um, I I do understand that there is like a, a, a connection of emotion and color. Mm -hmm. Sam actually uh, had talked about that too. Mm -hmm. um, you really do want to find a color that is expressive of what you were making mm -hmm. and there's there's a connection to emotion and color. Yeah. Um, and also like color blindness and visibility of color is important. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to color combinations, I'm not the best. Um, I try I try I try hard but sometimes it's not doesn't go great. Um, I tend to use a lot of more vibrant colors, but mm -hmm. then like saturate them a little bit. Um, but so like we, this is a really great color palette though. Yeah. Like this pink, I like that pink and, and purple. That purple. Yeah, and I, I love their 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 subtle use of gradients. Mm -hmm. um, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Let's we should just, delete let's that. Let's just delete that yeah. one. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> so you know that, that's the that's the internet, right? Yeah. Um, so so let's 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 start some other um, some other plugins that I like to. Um, that I like to show are um, what is uh, like world ready. Have you heard of that no, one? No, I haven't. Uh, and fun fact that Sam designed this one. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh my god, that's and, so cool. And so what you have to do first. So this is the other thing tricky about mm -hmm. our, about these plugins is since they are made by um, people outside of Adobe. This mm -hmm. was actually made inside Adobe, um, mm -hmm. but they the, sometimes the way you interact with them aren't what you always expect, and sometimes mm -hmm. there's rules. Um, this one, you have to have an artboard selected before you can use it, but World Ready localizes. So it's a form of inclusive design, but language oh, being the, the, nice. the way we're, we're working. And so you're able to then translate uh, That's so cool. your design into uh, another design that, but you wow, can now- Oh, now you can see, you can that's see, like too long. You can see, right. Yeah. So what do you do, right? Like as a designer, you have to then think about like, okay, maybe then I need to like, um, make it longer mm -hmm. and and okay. change change a little bit. You don't want to know um, you know orphans or widows, so you mm -hmm. have to make sure. Oh, that's, that's a little, so helpful. It is. Um, oh. Yeah. So props to Sam um, and and uh, Akula and that whole team yes. that made mm -hmm. World Ready because it's um, it's really doing a great job at understanding how language mm -hmm. changes yeah. the text length. Um, and and because we don't we don't we don't want to assume that our our work is only for. English speaking, as far as that's mm -hmm. the language I know, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it's important to know uh, how your how your page yeah. is going to behave in other countries, right? Uh, oh, Tim says the translation is slightly off, but not bad, because uh, Tim is in Germany. Thank and you, Tim. German. Yeah, yeah, and and that's it, so cool. Is, <laughs> and <laughs> also, <laughs> just to kind of point out, um, there's other ways of looking up this um, this translation. So mm -hmm. you can use the default translator. Uh, or you can use Google Translate. Oh. Uh, the default is Microsoft, mm -hmm. but Google has their own, so you might get a different yeah. type of um, like translation feedback, right? Oh. But Google is, I believe, like paid, so mm -hmm. Microsoft's free. You can also <laughs> highlight. So highlight is is less intrusive, um, and it allows you to uh, like kind of see in the background. Whoa. Without creating a new artboard. That's really cool. Right. It is cool, and 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 then you have a layers panel. Mm -hmm. um, that allows you to like hide, hide that. Oh. So it like is unintrusive, nice. and you can turn mm -hmm. it off, right? That's so cool. Uh, so those, that's a that's a really cool feature, um, and I 
as far as plugins, like those are, so those are my, um, I don't, I don't use world ready a ton um, mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm not really designing copy that much. Um, but it is something that I, I do think is useful to know, know your localization mm -hmm. and where yeah. you're designing. Um, but you also have uh, Undraw, which I is which is one that I like. Yeah. And if you haven't seen that, it's just I'm not I'm not like I do like doing illustrations. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not something I spend tons of time doing. I will be doing some of that with this. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to challenge myself to create <laughs> some uh, some unique uh, uh, elements that are going to be part of my features. Uh, but yeah, so let's just I said let's dive in a while ago, but let's really really <laughs> yeah. dive in now. And, and a part of this is also like understanding a responsive resize and how that works. Um, so then what we're gonna do is, um, and also I'm, I'm using, uh, like I said, like a really basic font. Mm -hmm. um, I might wanna change that though, right? So like, let's go ahead and, and think about uh, a font. So I, I, I feel like this concept calls for some sort of mono, um, like I'm thinking like, mm -hmm very computery like mm -hmm. like typeface <laughs> something not like too decorative mm -hmm. uh, something like no frills so let's let's go look real quick at um, this is and this is my process by the way I'm like all over the place <laughs> um, I go to Adobe fonts let's see oh I don't need to do that I can go here I have uh, this little guy all right browse all fonts and I actually did see uh, Sam, demo. Oh yeah, he was looking at some fonts. Yeah, he was looking at fonts earlier. Same way, um, he stole my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we're a team. So I, I'm going. I, I like mono um, for 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 at least for one concept, right? Mm -hmm. So I I really love how easy it is to to integrate your fonts from Adobe Fonts yeah. Cloud into your it's so fast it's so fast yeah. and the other cool thing is if you uh share a document with somebody else and they mm -hmm. don't have the font they'll it adopt updates. it yeah which is it's really cool which is we're living in the future um, so Ju I, oh sorry julia's asking um where they can find a list of the plugins that you use oh uh <laughs> that's a you know i don't i've never made a list would you like me to make one <laughs> yeah you should make one. Yeah, because you, you had you had some good recommendations. How about this? I'll I'll, I'll put a list together. Um, it, I can always just like send a screenshot, but like I would like to give you um, a, a better way of sharing that. Like, yeah. how would you want it? Would you like links um, or just like a list? Maybe like a list. Yeah, sure. I'll put that together uh, for for the for for tomorrow, and I'll, I'll share that with you. Yay! Yeah, that'd be awesome. really helpful. So I like this font. I like quick this this uh, mono mm -hmm. forty five headline. Mm -hmm. I, maybe that's a maybe I can use that for my logo. Um, so I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna add it. Yes, a lot of people are saying yes. They want the list. <laughs> they want the list. Cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, I think I think that's that's one of the um, the, the cool things about XD uh, is is being able to customize your your uh, process by mm -hmm. the plugins and mm -hmm. also shortcuts. Oh yeah. Which there's a lot of. Mm -hmm. There is another font that I saw yesterday that I'm not seeing today, but let me see. Any anything that sticks out to you? Um, I think they're they're not computery enough. Yeah. Maybe the next page. Maybe the next page. This one? Courier? Nah. Kind of like this one. That one that's good. That's like, yeah. Prestige Elite? Yeah. yeah, let's do that. I like that one. Okay, cool. So I got a couple fonts. Now let's go back over. And and also I'm curious to know like do 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 you, uh, who likes designing on a mouse versus like a trackpad? Mm -hmm. Like what? I always use a trackpad. You, I don't have a mouse. You don't uh, <laughs> now I, I I haven't used a mouse in a really really long time. <laughs> I'm like when I was younger. I'm not the I can't I can't do it. Um, Which one? I can't do I can't do trackpad. Really? Yeah, it's it's. Which was the other font I got? I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I feel like XC should do something where it has like your recently added fonts like on top because I always forget the name and then I have to go back and remember. Like I just did, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like that should be. Like that would be a cool feature. To a have. better a better way to like Organize have more those. more recently yeah. installed mm -hmm. or like favorites or something. Totally, and it's not just XD. This mm -hmm. is like, like all of them. All of them. Yeah. Like the the tool that we yeah. we shall not name. 
is, is <laughs> they do the same thing, and it's it's not uh, very intuitive. Uh, mono forty five. So that's not bad. That looks a little weird, actually. But Maybe, let's see. But like, can, can you like space it? Like. Yeah, we could I we could know. do some stuff. Yeah. So here here's the other thing. I, I the name of, of our concept is Ally. I really like that name. Right. I, I like it obviously too. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a reason for it. Yeah. So if you I've never I don't know if you've ever um, ever seen uh, so accessibility. Right. Mm -hmm. The the shortened the shorthand of accessibility is um, a eleven Y. And A11Y, there's 11 letters in between A and Y. So it's a shortened yeah. of it, right? Mm -hmm. So A11Y ally is kind of like how I came yeah. up with this. But I don't want to see L's that look like capital L's. Mm -hmm. I want to- Like I lowercase. I want, the, I want to be able to use lowercase oh, L's. So, but that doesn't mean I can't use this typeface, right? So mm -hmm. I could I could get this and um, there's, there's a way to um, transform this object into a and I'm I'm making a really oh. quick logo. So just to get give you guys, this I is cool. <laughs> I am not a logo designer. Uh, I don't try to be. I don't moonlight. Um, but you can you can now just convert this into into a shape. And then That's can, so cool. Yeah. I never thought of doing that. Just, yeah. For like fonts. Just do it. Now I, like. Nice. It's a uh, custom. Yay. Now it's customized. <laughs> A lot of people are saying they prefer a mouse, and Carrie says tablet and pen. Oh, cool. you know, the day that you could design an XD on an iPad? That would be so cool. Is the day that I would be a happy person. <laughs> I I really, really, I so I just got an, uh, an the iPad with a pencil, mm. and it is by far. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, it is by far my favorite like way to, to, to interact. Nice. Okay. So now I have, yeah, I have my uh, my logo. Yay! Right, that's oh, so cool. That looks okay. Yeah. So now I have I have an ally, and I can make it bigger. And I could, I could probably go in and tweak like the the corners if I want to make it mm -hmm. round and more more approachable. But I'll just I'll just leave it like that for now. And then uh, I do want to keep it features, but like let's. Let's let's add that new font that I got. It was um, oh great, I can't remember what um, it is again. Okay. A P. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is what we were just talking oh. about. Prestige. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Prestige. Okay, I forgot it too. <laughs> sure. That'll be fine for now. Yeah. And then uh, are are we? Uh, let's see. Are we adding? Let's see. Make a component. So now I do want to just call that my header, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing is like now that we're designing accessibly, um, what are we? What are we? Uh, we have to make sure our page structure is right. Mm -hmm. But um, I also like to add padding, and and this is just something that I do. Um, I always try to try to be consistent with my padding. Um, usually go like 80 to 100 width, um, mm -hmm. so that way um, I'm consistent. Uh, so I like to do that, something like that. And for me, it's a way just to like know I'm I'm, I'm designing like a little bit more uh, cohesive on both mm -hmm. sides, and so I can give myself a, a, a little guide. Mm -hmm. and it, you can yeah. always use your own the guides, but yeah. I tend to um, just create my own. Nice. And so those ones I'll like just like send to the back, mm -hmm. and then can just lock, lock it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, just lock it. That's a good tip. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Tim, for the reminder. So in about 30 minutes, we're going to be reviewing your designs from the XD Daily Creative Challenge. So if you've been participating, please share what you've been working on on our Discord channel and on, under the current cha challenge channel. And um, Julian and I are going to be looking at them and giving you some live feedback. So please submit, even if you're not caught up to today's challenge, just share whatever you have, and we would love to take a look at it. Designers making accessible web experiences. 
So that's obviously not <laughs> what we want it to look like. So mm -hmm. we know we know how to do this, right? We know how to correct mm -hmm. that. And then the way the way you fit your text is going to depend on your your preferences. But mm -hmm. I also think that might be a little too big. But let's let's mm -hmm. leave it right now. Um, and then a short description of the product. Um, I will I will leave that as is. Uh, I had I had copy kind of laid out, but I, I, I'm not going to worry about boring you with all the the minor details mm -hmm. of like what those parts are. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that it's not important, and we will definitely like be um, adding that for, mm -hmm. tomorrow. for tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so then the other thing is let's let's go ahead and um, and make this this typeface the same as the. I'm losing. What, is it? what was it again? Prestige? No. Who was the big yeah. one? Oh, the big one. Mono forty five. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mono forty five. Yeah. Ooh. Is and that's all. That's all caps, right? Is that like default? It's by all default cap? all okay. caps. What do you guys think? Mm. Who likes all caps? I don't really. I'm not a huge fan of all caps. Neither am I. Okay. It's, yeah, I feel like it's harder to read, especially if it's that. Like big of a sentence. Yeah, let's uh, let's just go with mono um, or with prestige, and then we could make it as bold as it gets. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, <laughs> hey, this is live, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's get another uh, let's get another font. Yeah. Let's see, something that has a good bold. That's not too mm -hmm. weird. Any recommendations out there for mono yeah, monotype? Let us know what you guys like. Julia says they love mono forty five. <laughs> you like mono forty five? Let's roll with it then. I just don't want to feel like I'm yelling at you, yeah. right? Like that's what I feel like. It does kind of seem like a plug in for designers. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of it's yeah. kind of it's kind of let's just leave it now mm -hmm. and and we will um, come up with something later. Um, and the idea of like what a responsive resize is, by the way, like we will we will be getting into that mm -hmm. um, when we scale down to iPad and mobile. Yeah. Um, but let's kind of just keep rocking on. Um, um, uh, Tim this. says to check out the Science Fair collection on Adobe Fonts. Okay, let's, font let's do it. So let's check it out. Science Fair. You just search it. I don't know how to, like, where that would be on Adobe Fonts. Yeah. I think it's, how do you, Tim, how do you find, oh, there it is, right? Oh, New yeah. Pack? <laughs> oh, it's a pack. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Tim. Thanks, Tim. You are <laughs> amazing. <laughs> You're the all-star right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I need to find out where. What yeah, those fonts. What those fonts are. <laughs> There's the other issue. It's not popping up. Okay. What's the font inside of that? Did I close it? Um, I think it's like a lot of multiple fonts. Look at that. There's so many. Oh. I kind of like that. That's cool. Like the 8-bit kind of mm -hmm. style. I mean, this is the other thing is like as as designers, like we can overthink things mm -hmm. until oblivion. So like. <laughs> Let's let's go with uh, uh, this one. I actually really like that one. Mm -hmm. The the sis. sis. Yeah. Ooh. That's that. That's yeah, not bad. Like that. It's it doesn't go any thicker, mm -hmm. but that's okay. I think I think it still works. It's actually really really pretty. Uh, w is kind of oh wait is it supposed to? Be? What W? The W. It's like. Um... What is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, and the B, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got some interesting up there. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm not in love with it, but at the at, at the sake of uh, of just making like this move along, let's mm -hmm. let's kind of roll with it, and and it's okay. We could we could change it out later. Um, so that was sis T T. Lena says overthinking fonts is what I do the most probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and looking for images. Yeah. So that's something that uh, that I struggle with. Um, as well, and sometimes you just need to, because you can you can search forever, like mm -hmm. using Unsplash yeah. or whatever whatever it is mm -hmm. that you use to look for images. Uh, I feel that creating your own imagery is the best way to go. 
on just being inspired mm -hmm. and, and either if you're if you know photography uh, just go shoot some stuff yourself um, or or just like get inspired by like a visual and then maybe treat it differently like with an illustration mm -hmm. um, so that's something that that I that I definitely believe and and just to kind of let you like know how I made these this was also uh, who, who uses repeat the, the repeat, repeat grid? grid me right okay <laughs> So I love repeat grid. That's what I did here, right? It's just simple re re repeat grid. Um, but the way the way that you have to like maybe maybe make it bigger is mm -hmm. uh, we do have to ungroup them to like change the size. But mm -hmm. um, if we wanted to grow them, they're they're growing correctly mm -hmm. because I've kind of already set up the file mm -hmm. to for this first one. The 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 the, mm -hmm. the parent yeah. the parent of the of the repeat, and you know you have to make sure that you're um, going in here and pinning things appropriately because like if I just left it like this and tried to, you know, tried to make it bigger. See, it's mm -hmm. it's, it's not responding yeah. the right way. So it's it's all about like making sure you're pinning things in the right way. Also, just like grouping objects mm -hmm. together and trusting the auto yeah. is going to really help you as well. Um, and then. So that's kind of just like a, a, a tip. If you haven't, I'm sure you do, because like it's one of the best features of XD. Um, and then it, you know, dragging imagery in here is something that we'll do. Uh, we'll do in a little bit. Um, but we're gonna just kind of like use our features and say like, all right, my I know that I've I've I'm not completely unprepared, so I have like a, a whole <laughs> like thing about like what my features are. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. Um, so like my feature one, I'm not, and I don't need to 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 have that feature when it was just for me to know. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to hide that. Um, yeah, let's control it. Oh, that wasn't what I meant to do. Did you close XD? No, I hit oh, it. OK. What's, <laughs> I got scared first. I know. What am I doing? Uh, it's, oh, it's command. That's weird. Comma? Command. To hide? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's actually, I, I hid XD. <laughs> <laughs> which like That's really funny. it doesn't dock or nothing it just like just goes gone. into like the icon which is cool Whoa. for some reason if you want to like hide that you're working <laughs> <laughs> sure but since it's the parent right it, it, mm -hmm. it does it's everything you need everything. so then uh, for this this was placeholder I don't want placeholder anymore mm -hmm. Um, I want to actually call this what it is. So my first feature is landmark and tab order annotation. Uh, so I'm actually showing you what my concept is by designing this for you. Mm -hmm. Landmark and tab order annotation. So landmark and tab order annotation is a way uh, for you to navigate your web page. Um, mm -hmm. So if you didn't have a, uh, a what if like your trackpad just broke, mm -hmm. and uh, what if your mouse wasn't working? Yeah. Like, how would you navigate a web page? Mm -hmm. Ideally, you'd be able to tab through mm -hmm. using your keypad, and you don't. So that way, you wouldn't need a mouse to take you around the page. Yeah. Uh, the the hard part about it is, not everybody is documenting the way they build mm -hmm. in in that way. Yeah. And so the idea of building accessibly is 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 just for people that are blind is actually not true. Mm -hmm. um, if you design accessibly from the beginning, it benefits everybody, yeah, right? Because exactly. now um, there is somebody, uh, an intern here, mm -hmm. um, who broke his arm during his internship, and he's a designer. Oh, so no. like, how do you design yeah. without having your dominant hand, mm -hmm. right? Or like a hand, like yeah. it's it's difficult. Um, which is also another just tangent of a concept that we were working on was what if you could author XD, which basically is use XD, mm -hmm. if you didn't have hands. Yeah. Like, right, like what what would the interaction That's be? That's so cool. Um, <laughs> now that there's like different ways to interact with voice, mm -hmm. um, but also like using single switches, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, one of the most popular ones is called a sip and puff. Have you heard of that? No, what's um, that? <laughs> if you think of like Stephen Hawking mm -hmm. and the way he used to speak mm -hmm. and control yeah. was with a uh, tube in his mouth. Oh, and so okay. you're able to like blow in mm -hmm. and suck in, mm -hmm. blow out and suck in. Mm -hmm. um, and that is a single switch. So you can have, um, so the Xbox Adaptive is this control that has all types of inputs and outputs. Mm -hmm. So being able to author with that was like one That's of the so ideas, cool. which is, I think we, 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 need, to, we need to get there. Mm -hmm. And that way we can mm -hmm. open up uh, who is using um, XD to a broader audience. Yeah. 
Um, so I, all right. So off the bat, I'm I'm not loving like the alignment there. Mm -hmm. um, but I, let's change this. Um, let's change this font to a. Sis? Sis? I think I was, was I want to try one? this one. This one. Oh, not sis. <laughs> What's the, this one? Prestige. prestige. I think I might just change this back to prestige though. <laughs> I don't, and by the way, I <laughs> I don't love using more than three fonts. Okay. Like, yeah. I, I, I definitely, um, I, I will once I once I kind of get more of a, a, a better sp spot with this, I mm -hmm. will like create a little system for for mm -hmm. everybody. Uh, but I like to build a system as I'm going. But I try to use three fonts max and don't vary the sizes too much either. Mm. Like stick yeah. to stick to a few sizes because if you if you go crazy, it's gonna it's gonna feel crazy, and <laughs> and it, yeah. you don't want a, w a website that feels mm -hmm. crazy. Um, you want it to be consistent um, and. So yeah, and, and if you're mixing like a, a serif with a, a sans serif, uh, you know, be be mindful. Um, like this is already looking kind of crazy, like in my in my opinion, right? Like, yeah. Like it I, looks like five. Is it five different fonts right I'm now? I'm using a lot of different <laughs> fonts, and and that's something that like I, I need to. I, you can your logo can be different, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But like maybe maybe these are I'm I'm going too crazy here. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go back to like a a, a systems font or mm -hmm. even like Helvetica, just just for now, and and we can we can get there, because um, you know you don't want you don't want to make it just too weird. Mm -hmm. Like let's look at what these people are using over here, right? Uh, they're using Carla Sands, mm -hmm. and these are these could be sp like specialized fonts, right? Mm -hmm. Like they can have their own fonts. They're not yeah. using. They're not. They're not required to use uh, Adobe, Adobe fonts. Yeah. Um, but you know, Helvetica is is usually a good backup mm -hmm. font that people use. Um, it's it's pretty basic, but like there's nothing wrong with with being simple. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, there's a difference between being basic and simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just change this to, uh, I don't know, let's, let's go. What size is this? It's 44, and we we want our sentence case to be about the same, so 26 is okay. Um, I'll stick with, um, I'm gonna stick with Helvetica on these. Um, so Damien is asking, um, what do you think about using Lorem Ipsum when sharing work with your client? So we actually answered that mm. earlier in the stream. So if you go back. We can <laughs> answer know. again? Yeah, I can answer like a quick, yeah. it's not like a detailed version. Um, it's do, at the beginning of the stream work. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm, <Are> doing, <laughs> I'm doing it for you now, um, only because like I whipped this together uh, pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, would, I, would, I would go on a limb and just be like, don't. Don't do it um, because it's it just doesn't provide context the way mm -hmm. the way that your client would want and yeah. their, their expectations of the design um, won't won't be uh, very good. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see there that's not centered, and so now that these are these are responsive um, because I've aligned them correctly, I should be able to you know make them oh. fit. And this is kind of small, so let's change that to like 30. And then I'll just change this to 30 as well. Um, okay, so, and ignore ignore this. I'll fill this in for you later, and, and these two. Um, mm -hmm. But let's let's do something, uh, let's see, we got plenty of time. Uh, I will begin to um, create like a like a background. Oh, Like let's, background. let's do something fun and let's like, you know, like what kind of um, what kind of elements could be in the background? Mm -hmm. Like when I'm thinking about like accessibility and documenting for accessibility, like there's a few ideas that I was working with, mm -hmm. um, and and like maybe it's maybe there's like a and, and part of part of my my concept is like this relationship between uh, two different people, a developer and a um, designer, mm -hmm. and so maybe there's like like a duality, like mm. if I was to think about like w what type of, uh, yeah, what, what kind of like emotion am I trying to convey? Yeah. Um, so like maybe there's, it's split into halves and maybe like mm. there's one concept could be like kind of color, let's see. Maybe, maybe I can use, 
like a, a gray. No, I don't want gray. I want something colorful. Let's go yellow. Let's go. Let's see what this uh, this color uh, over here is. The yellow from the yeah. brewing company. Yeah. Let's go. I like that. Let's yellow go with the lot. yellow. Uh, this not this yellow. <laughs> let's see. They're using this guy. Let's see. That's cool. Oh. But then, like, maybe they, maybe that, like, can can do something like that, like, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's an idea. Um, but then that that's like, let's like make another artboard, and let's like, and this is also like a, a, a time for you, like when you're especially when you're designing something to begin with. Like this is all explorations. Mm -hmm. Like you have your 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 things that you uh, you know you need, mm -hmm. um, but then what? Like, what else can you, how else can you explore? So, like, I, I like this idea, the idea of, like, colorful, um, colorful shapes. Like, it's kind mm -hmm. of a trend, right? So yeah. let's, let's do some, like, like, pe the pentel. Let's break mm -hmm. out the pentel and, like, start making some, like, some cool shapes. So, let's see. So, like, a... And then let's fill it with, like, let's see, like, people like, I like, like, these, like, nice, like, pale colors. Mm -hmm. And then you just, like, send it to the back. Um, we'll, we'll play with some, um, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna get some, get some cool stuff going here. Mm -hmm. see, let's be. Um, Carrie Ann is asking, would you ever consider using a video option with sign language translation next to or underneath your text? That is awesome. Yeah, that's a really great idea. I haven't ever considered yeah. how how you can uh, pull in uh, like like that's. Have you been to a concert lately, where they have now like? I've seen a few where there's like trans translators. Yeah, like n living yeah. in in the performance, right? Like they're kind it's of like really cool. part of the yeah. show. Um, that could be a really really. That is an idea that you need to think about mm -hmm. seriously like developing because um, yeah. if you can have um, a way to have somebody like open like a chat like instead of a chat mm -hmm. it's like a chat that's like signed yeah and that's so cool. you can or or you can maybe communicate like create a new visual language mm -hmm. um, for um, like emojis mm -hmm. right because oh, I, I feel like yeah. that could be another mm -hmm. way to communicate yeah. meaning that I think for us mm -hmm. we get what they mean maybe mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> like I didn't like that one, the praying. I, like, yeah. I, I thought it's, it's people clapping hands. Yeah, I, I never, I it's, still do like praying. It's still, like, it is yeah. praying. Because they, they could have given them different like color hands. Yeah, or to different show like it's two different people. Color shirt or something. Yeah. So it's not, it's not yeah. cla clapping. It's, it's mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I really, I really think that's a great idea because we are, um, we're, we're not really considering how, how sign language is, is something that, that is really important. So mm -hmm. I, I, Great question, and I, I, I highly, I highly suggest like following that instinct of, of making something like that because, um, that is definitely needed. So great, mm -hmm. great uh, idea. Oh, where's my fill, filling? Oh, let's see, that's weird. Did I take my opacity down? No, there it is. Okay, so, so yeah, this is like, I like blues, and you know how like they're creeping, they're kind of creeping. Uh, over the artboard, but you know, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of like, um, is there something going on there, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, some, some little, and then maybe we can make a, a, like some sort of decorative elements like outside of it. I'll mm -hmm. show you that in a sec, but like, like, you know. And who, who like loves the pencil and who like hates the pencil? <laughs> Cause I, I'm an old illustrator oh, lover, like, mm -hmm. It's actually kind of sad that I don't use it as much as I used to, mm -hmm. because it's it's it was just like it's how I learned. Like who who watches uh, Howard Pinsky's videos? Me, like, right? love his videos. <laughs> like who who like else? Like I, I learned how to use a lot of things like, like studying and, and mm -hmm. learning what yeah. he makes. Um, and for me, like that's kind of like why this is, is being here at Adobe is like such a dream because I I, I used Photoshop like 
that was my first creative tool. You know? Same with me. Like yeah. I didn't, I, I learned how to, how to be a designer by using Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And so I, I just really respect that. Like you have to kind of respect the lineage of these mm -hmm. tools. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so these are these are pretty these are pretty cool, right? Like, yeah, I like, I like it. them. Like you can soften them up, yeah. uh, increase the legibility, um, and then what we could do is like so like these are all part of like a uh, separate elements, right? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, also pay attention to layers. I know that like it's something that we don't always do, but it helps with organization. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not gonna name it. <laughs> but just pay attention yeah. to it. So what you could do now is you could make a, a rectangle and then um, you can kind of put those there and then you can you know group those and you can oh, oh. <laughs> see again I'm my shortcuts sometimes yeah. I think I'm doing the right thing but it's <laughs> shift okay. command M. And now it's kind of nice. like cleaned up a little mm -hmm. bit right so you you have something there. Um, but it did change the, the layer order yeah. right So there we go. Now, uh, we also have uh, the uh, the ability to add some more decoration. So, like, let's go with um, I like I like the ellipse tool, mm -hmm. and let's take like thirty to thirty, and we're gonna make these black, and then we're gonna be able to repeat grid. Look at those Ooh. dots. Yeah. So we, we have like a little, <laughs> little texture there. A lot there. of dots. A lot of <laughs> dots. What are we going to do with these dots? Let's see. Let's get them. Oh, there's a lot. Look at those dots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> group them. Now, I like them smaller. But you can add texture to, to like to things, right? Mm -hmm. So instead, of like there's ways of like adding gradients. But mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna take this shape and I'm gonna copy it in here. And then what we can do oh, this is yeah, this is, dots. <laughs> this is crazy uh, is duplicate this and then mask it. Out. I got too much, too much layers here. Layers and layers. Let's see. So in about six minutes, we're going to be taking a look at your designs from the XD Daily Creative Challenge. So if you've been working on them, now is the time to share them in our XD Discord. Oh, I cannot wait. Yay, me too. I'm really excited. <laughs> so we have this, like, really... Uh -huh. And so I don't know if you if you know this too, like so the handles on these, mm -hmm. so like they default as like I just kinda like like I'm just moving the mm -hmm. handle. But if, if you hold uh is it control? Oh no. If you hold Where is it? Where's the handle? Yeah, if you hold uh, option, mm -hmm. you're able to uh, move it independently. So that oh, way, yeah. So I there, didn't know that. So this cool. is the thing about like there's a lot of hidden tricks, mm -hmm. uh, hidden jewels, <laughs> ooh, ooh uh, <laughs> that you can do. And and so like what this is allowing me to do is I'm creating this like this other layer here, and then so you're kind of like using the same mm -hmm. layer, but like you're creating a texture. Yeah. So then I can select that, and then we have these uh, these fun tools, right? Mm -hmm. um, which ones do what? Sometimes I just have to experiment. Same. <laughs> I can never remember. I can never remember <laughs> those. Boom. So like, oh. you know, you kind of create, like, it might be conf conflicting a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's not the right one to use there. Um, but it's a, like, you know, this is all that's explorations cool. right now, yeah. but like adding a gradient is something that you can also do to this, to the fill. Radial gradient. Um, depending on like how dark you want to make this mm -hmm. one, you could change that up, and then you could change some of that. And just add add some more like texture to it, mm -hmm. something like that. But we'll, we'll we'll work on some other ideas. Um, and then I also do want to do an example that is like a one page thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
but yeah, let's start. Let's start getting this thing done too. Uh, so like landmark and annotation, and then this one is uh, role aria labels. So uh, aria role and labels. So what aria role and labels are are um, basically the way you would um, assign meaning to different spa places on pages. Oh, so like okay. uh, if you think about like. If I were to put a, a, a close button um, mm -hmm. on this, so if I were to say, like, I'm just going to get an X and just say X. Like, if you had, like, a close button uh -huh. on a dialog, right? Like, technically, that's not a, a close, that's not an X. It's a close button mm -hmm. to yeah. us, right? But, like, assistive technologies, oh, they literally. interpret things literally. Yeah. So it would say X, mm -hmm. but it's like, well, then they wouldn't <laughs> know how mean? to leave, right? Yeah. So it's ARIA roles. Mm -hmm. By assigning R roles, you're you're basically allowing um, the assistive technology to know the subtext to what something is. Oh, so it's cool. actually a close button, mm -hmm. not an X. Yeah. And so you kind of are with this plugin I'm building, you're able to uh, embed this meaning into mm -hmm. layers. That way, you can hand wow. off the developer a, another mm -hmm. um, another meaning of what you actually yeah. meant with your visual mm -hmm. design. Because visual design isn't um, isn't like a hundred percent like relative to everybody, mm -hmm. right? Like especially people that. Can't, that don't have vision. Yeah. Um, so ARIA role labeling and um, ARIA role labeling. labeling. And so it's it's not as long of a sentence as I would like, mm -hmm. um, but that's okay. We'll, we'll 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 figure it out. And then this one is uh, defines. Oh no. Two. This one's documentation access documentation. Document accessible. Accessible documentation. Accessibility documentation. Hand up. Okay. Sorry. The other thing is uh, when I was so. I started using the other design tool mm -hmm. because when I was in school, that was the one that was being used. Mm -hmm. um, what I appreciate about XD is that it has more um, like assistance for like spell check, mm, yeah. and it's like embedded it into it, right? Yeah. Like uh, before, what I would do is I would do all my copy in mm -hmm. like a Google Doc, uh -huh. and that way it would spell yeah. check for me and then bring it in. But now that yeah, it's all in here, which is really awesome. You know that I, I also like would love. Uh, the um, the what's that other Grammarly? Yeah. If, like, when if mm -hmm. Grammarly would be in, also embedded yeah. into like teach you a little bit amazing. more structure. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, um, what the theme of today's XD challenge is, and what Sam was showing. I think that's Grammarly what it was. was one of the like inspiration, and also Hemingway app, which I use a lot when I'm like writing, if I'm writing like an article or something, yeah. or when I was in school and I was writing essays. That helped me so much with my writing. So. That's yeah. That's a lot of great tools. Those are really great tools, yeah. uh, because we we're not all like copywriters, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and we don't we don't try to be either. But there is there is an element of being a designer and like being able to communicate. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you can't communicate what you're making to your team, then like you're you're not really doing a good job outwardly expressing yeah. what you're doing as well. Exactly. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's it's definitely really important to to be able to do both. So these are placeholder images. Mm -hmm. um, I am not uh, gonna keep them like this. Um, I will I will have uh, for tomorrow some more uh, some more like examples of like the way that could look. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, right now it's it's not okay. I'm not gonna say that this is the prettiest <laughs> thing uh, in the world, but it will it will develop into something. Yeah. Yay. So it's actually time to look at some design submissions. Let's do it. From the XC Daily Creative Challenge. So I have a Discord up on my screen, and I'm going to be looking in the current challenge tab, which is where, if you are participating in the challenge, this is where you're going to be submitting them. Um, we also have past challenge and other um, channels in the feedback channel. So if you are, if you have designs from like other places that you want feedback on that aren't related to the challenge, you can submit that in the other. And then if you're working on previous challenges, you can submit that there. But we will be looking at current challenges. So 
Let's see, I'm gonna pull this one up. If you're working on them, um, you can submit them now and I'll keep looking um, to see if we have any new submissions. And yeah, so let's take a let's look at it. the first I one. I cannot wait. Yay. So this looks really cool. Ooh. I really like the, like, how it's laid out is really nice and easy to kind yeah. of glance at. Is is that a railway, that font? I think so. That's, yeah, yeah it looks the like W. It. That's very like distinct. I mm -hmm. actually thought this like a, was a real thing. Yeah, it looks real. Yeah, this does look real. Uh, I love the um, that image blur. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a that was the thing that I wanted to try. Oh. Um, we'll we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll get to that. Um, but yeah, I, I I thought this was like an actual Website. product. Yeah, me too. Good job. Which is really awesome. Uh, just like, let's see, you know, like little the little things that that, that break the uh, the. The experience, I, it's it's really well made. Um, it's just like the um, the find. There's an extra e, but other than that, like it's beautiful. Uh, on the um, the call to action, the secondary. Oh. But oh yeah. That's an easy fix. Yeah. Right, and this is quick, and this is uh, actually a really great uh, a really great card mm -hmm. right there that that you designed. Yeah. I would just keep pushing uh, this type of this type of work. Um, mm. You you there's a but yeah other than so spell check is hard. We just kind of mentioned yeah. that. <laughs> Um, designing uh, really quick is hard, as mm -hmm. you can tell. Like, yeah. it's 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 not it's, it's 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 not something that just happens over the like over overnight. an hour, yeah. right? Or overnight, yeah. like it takes time. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, like if you use the principles of like the rule of thirds and and just like basic spacing, mm -hmm. uh, you can do a lot with a little bit of uh, of time. Mm -hmm. um, this is really great. Yeah, I think this is really good and. You did a good job with like the hierarchy of things. So like the header is really clear and then you have like the smaller um, size font down here and then the clear call to action. And you did a good job with differentiating the two buttons so that they don't look too similar. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and the question, this is, was this designed in XD? Yeah, this yes. was totally. And yeah. Tim answered that as well. Yeah. Uh, you can, you can, what clues you in is like the, the, the frame that it's in, mm -hmm. the Chrome. Uh, you can tell that like there's yeah. the comments on the side. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's definitely an XD make. Yes. Cool, this looks really good. I really, don't think really um, they prototyped it because I can't click on anything, but this is awesome, great job. Was the challenge to also make it clickable? Um, I don't think I don't think you have to, but yeah. I've seen a lot of people do the clickable prototypes or they record the video in XD and like upload that onto Discord, which is also really cool to watch and look through. Let's look at another one. Do, 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 while we wait for it to load. <laughs> cool. So I'm, I don't know which day this was for. Ooh, a lot of painters. Um, okay. So there's a lot of text here and it, it can be a little too long to kind of scroll down. Hmm. Um, oh, this is more like for like an iPhone, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I, I do like the, like the examples that you, that you pulled in, mm -hmm. like really great imagery that you were finding. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I want to know if like you did like that like really cool trick of like dropping f like images from a folder like mm -hmm. that's something oh yeah that, like, into like the repeat, grid. The repeat yeah. grid uh but in terms of uh, uh like the design um you know the, the color the color is kind of uh, uh uh something that i would i would think about maybe just keeping it black and white if, if you're mm -hmm. gonna kind of uh stick into this um or or maybe even pull in some influence of impressionist painting yeah, you know, that'd be cool. Into it, like, mm -hmm. like push that metaphor, uh, and and maybe even even the font type. Uh, thinking about uh, using something more classic, mm -hmm. like like some yeah. sort of serif, uh, yeah. a serif font that's uh, a little bit more um, on on this timeline mm -hmm. at least, yeah. right? Something more specific to the timeline. But I I, I do I do appreciate um, the the thought that came into like the context and like yeah. these these actual mm -hmm. painters. Yeah. Um, what what happens when you click the is there any, uh... oh, oh, look at that. Cool. This is nice. Really, someone uh, is a, 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 a painting, uh, a painting.
painting buff here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Art art history. I, I I had you know I went to art school, so I did take a intro. Oh, I took an <laughs> intro to art history when I was in a community college a long time ago, but I really enjoyed that class. Yeah, it's it's learning this mm -hmm. learning like all the stories behind like these art movements yeah. uh, is really cool. is really cool because yeah. they're they're all like have these really really interesting stories. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, that one's. That one's That's cool. cool. I, I, I think a little bit more finesse on like how you treat the back. I know it's like a really quick thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah. Again, um, even with these, I like the banner mm -hmm. and how you like you went from like a, a zoomed in crop version of the photo to like showing it more in its full mm -hmm. form yeah. um, and, and showing some like uh, information about the, the painting date. Um, I would still I would still, uh, you know, push you uh, to like go find those metaphors too with the mm -hmm. time. And, and use a, a, a typeface that's um, uh, a little bit more on on to that mm -hmm. timeline. Yeah. Like something with a serif yeah. typeface would be I kind agree. of really cool. Yeah, but this is really cool. Yeah, it does feel it does feel very modern. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's see, there's no new one, so we can keep looking. Yeah, that was and that was Jose's. Um, I think this one was Tatiana. Tatiana, okay. Let's see. Oh, they're they're having they have a list. I love how they just like have a side ah, discussion going. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Is is this the the animal one? Yeah, I think I think the, this was day two. This is day two. Yeah. Okay. Let's that, watch it one more time. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. I love how you 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 put in some of those on draw. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I, I think it's great to like to like experiment with just like uh, even if it's just placeholder, mm -hmm. like placeholder imagery is mm -hmm. really great as a, as a way to like practice your animations. Yeah. Uh, I I really appreciate like the treatment of uh, of spacing you gave. Like there's you can you can really see each tile and mm -hmm. the the opacity is is legible. Mm -hmm. The um, my just to kind of like, since I'm 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 in this like accessibility legibility yeah. space, like the 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 white on the green is a little hard to mm -hmm. to discern. Yeah. And then the yellow. Yeah, it, like it, it, the legibility uh, is is tough. I mean, I know sometimes it's like you don't you 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 don't you don't want to like push like these dark colors mm -hmm. and, and like maybe like you don't want to use a black typeface over it. Mm -hmm. But I think there's a way to like maybe darken. Uh, the, the 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 pigment or the the color that you're choosing, mm -hmm. um, it's it's a tough thing, but like it's a little hard to read on, on that on that top. Nav. Yeah, yeah, I can kind of read it on my laptop screen, but when I'm looking at the like bigger screen, I can barely see like the uh, ESA and the yellow. Yeah, and you can so, even if you if you're playing yeah. with this as like a logo, you can even put like a shadow, uh, mm, a drop shadow yeah. on the lettering yeah. to to kind of bring it's it out more. Yeah. Uh, and it, would it, do we know? Oh, we don't know what it looks like inside the tiles. Um, I don't think. I was like, they showed it. Yeah, <laughs> but I think overall, though, like. But it looks really cool. And yeah, the animations, the animations are, awesome. are great. Yeah. Like you, you definitely know what you're doing on yeah. the auto animate. Mm -hmm. um, keep, just keep pushing uh, some of the the legibility mm -hmm. and some of the color choice. I think that the green and yellow is is there are really great colors to use in combination, mm -hmm. um, but just kind of like. Picking the contrast, yeah, like, a little bit. Yeah, and you can use the Stark plugin on XD to yeah. kind of see. And I will demo uh, once I have a better design for you to show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I will show you um, how to use Stark plugin to, to document cool. your colors. I'm excited to see it. Let's take a look at this one. This looks really cool. So it looks like a car information website, and then they have the mobile version as well. Oh, look at that. This is cool. And. The, it's really a really nice presentation too. Like you, you also went the uh, the extra mile to overlay it on top of another yeah. color to mm -hmm. kind of give us some direction of like, and you brought brought into that same element of that mm -hmm. line. Yeah. Um, I, I I I really like the uh, the way that the the side the left panel is like this mm -hmm. this navigation. Um, I know people kind of fight that. Sideways, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of, I'm, I've, I like it. I do like it. I think we know what it is, right? Yeah. Um, maybe creating like a, a a little bit more hierarchy as far as like what's selected, the selected mm -hmm. state, the focused. Yeah. Like that bold is a little like 
thin. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can add um, like some sort of like uh, another another sort of like dot or or something to signify that it's yeah, a selected, selected. state, mm -hmm. um, or just maybe even increase the size, and that could be like an animation moment uh, where you can you can kind of like bring that forward. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Great job on 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 like selecting a, a really cool car and and, yeah, and being able to like. Yeah, looks awesome. I'm not sure if you <laughs> cropped that out or if you if you um, if you find like found a really cool yeah. Uh, PNG. Yeah. But yeah, that, and also for not using lorem ipsum. Yeah. Right. I actually used. For his real yeah, real. Did real you? Text. There's there's that um, that 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 plugin that allows you to pull in Wikipedia information. Oh. Oh, I haven't used that. Yeah, Sam demonstrated cool. that, which is a, a really cool tool to use as well. Nice. Uh, what do you guys think? Do, do you like the this design? I think it's great. I I I, I think the I think the overall message is con mm -hmm. conveyed, and um, yeah. the 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 and I I would want to see what people think about like these call to actions. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about about these? Um, I would personally change one of them to another color or mm -hmm. something that looks a little different. Yeah. Because the way that they're designed, they look very very similar. So at yeah. first glance, it's hard to know. And then on this page, I don't know like which one I should really click or focus on. And I think by Maybe making one a different color, you can say like, we really want users to test drive or we really want them to find a dealer and yeah. kind of like focusing on that. I um, agree. I totally yeah. agree. I think there's um, there's there's a, a way to, to maybe treat the find dealer uh, in, a, in like a, a like be a link. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It could be maybe on the right side. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they do look the same mm -hmm. and it, it's it's like a hierarchy thing of like, what is the call to action that you want people yeah. to actually uh, choose? What's mm -hmm. their first instinct? Yeah. Uh, maybe even changing the color on one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it, it's still a really, really great exploration. Yeah. And thank you for providing um, the mobile version mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Really That's cool. really great. Really awesome job. Mm -hmm. Yay. Cool. Have this one. Let me open this, and then I think they have the mobile version as well. Okay. Cool. I love reading this feed. <laughs> I, again, Tim, thank you for yeah. just like being uh, just so diligent yeah, here. Yeah, Tim's the best. And, and helping <laughs> us out. I really, really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. This one, this one is uh, very, very uh, clear. Like it's really yeah. like it's you know what's going on, um, it it just kind of like just tells you right away because the contrast is there. Yeah. Um, even if the the line the the, the weight of the text, um, it's it's still legible. Mm -hmm. uh, I would maybe maybe think about the the sentence. What what font is this? It's like probably. Sam, Sam's in the chat. Sam, do you know what font this is? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Sam? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Sam. Um, th I think that's a. Uh, uh, it looks really familiar. Like, oh my gosh, I, I'm like blanking on the name. Um, I think it's oh, Avenir. Maybe. I'm not sure, but <laughs> it, it is a, it is a little hard to read in in the paragraph. Mm -hmm. So I think using yeah, it's it, kind of it's it's kind of smooshed, yeah. right? And the letters are um, are I, this is a better font that you use for the paragraph uh, for um, like a title case mm -hmm. uh, or for like a, a header. Yeah. Um, just <laughs> <laughs> did you did you bring me dumpling, Sam? Yeah. He's, <laughs> he went to dumpling time. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, so I. I do. I do really appreciate like the the contrast of, mm -hmm. of the text and the background. I, I just feel that the the typeface is uh, might be harder to read for some people, and maybe you want to just create some like spacing in between letters mm -hmm. if you wanted to use that typeface. Yeah. Um, it's, it's Sam a says not Avenir, but one of those new grotesque fonts. Yeah, oh. yeah. Thanks, and, Sam. Yeah, why grotesque? Like I think that's such a strange word to use it for is. A font, but <laughs> it is definitely. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, so and also the so the image of the car, I, I hate to nitpick, mm -hmm. but it it's a little, a little pixelated. pixelated. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Maybe you could still use that image, but mm -hmm. maybe make it smaller mm -hmm. so that it is the appropriate size. Yeah. Uh, but I do I do think that that it it is a great car to highlight. 
but yeah, it's a little pixelated. Mm -hmm. was, it, was it Julia's question? Um, what do you think about the space between the line and the title features huh. and equipment? The that line, uh -huh. is an excellent question. So mm -hmm. me, personally, I try not to use any decoration. Okay. I try. <laughs> um, only because it's it, like I, I try to strip things down to like the core necessity, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I understand that the line separates, but you can also use space to separate. Mm -hmm. um, it, with that said, I do think that there are times when it can create like this elegance mm -hmm. to, to a design. Um, and it's, it, it, but in, in a sense, it is kind of decorative at times. Yeah. But I, I don't mind it so much uh, if it's light, and this is pretty mm -hmm. light. Yeah. Um, but I think, I think with that said, there, the, the use of fonts is, is, is I think where this design could could stand out. Like mm -hmm. even using another, uh, uh, like offsetting, offset. I like how you offset the font with like, all caps, the all like all yeah. caps type base. Mm -hmm. um, maybe throwing in like another serif in there. Um, and just to kind of nitpick on, on these buttons, they do seem a little big. Um, if there was like a, yeah. if this was like a, a dashboard for like a car, that, that's a good size for like a, a, a touchable. Like a uh, tablet, tablet or something, yeah. Um, or in dash um, mm -hmm. button. For mobile or for um, desktop, they do seem a little big, uh, and and again, you're not sure which one to choose, yeah. and, and they're all kind of screaming at you, mm -hmm. a little too loud. Yeah. <laughs> but with that said, like I think there are the right buttons to mm -hmm. to, to like to have on the screen. Yeah. Uh, maybe the treatment could just be a little a uh, little bit varied, mm -hmm. um, yeah. because I don't associate quote with red. Maybe it's a green. Me too. Or something yeah, like that, green. you know. And, then, and you can, you could have uh, maybe next, I mean, if you wanted to re, like to push this, mm -hmm. uh, you could, uh, you could also like maybe put a map of, of like where the dealer oh, is. Oh yeah, that'd know? be cool. Get driving directions, yeah. something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, uh, otherwise it's still a really um, uh, an elegant execution. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I think there, like there's really simple. emphasis on yeah. the simplicity, mm -hmm. and yeah. and it does deliver that. Yeah, great job. Yeah. Yay. I want a Maserati. Is that what the car this is? I think. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I'm what not car a really big car person. Yeah, I, I'm not like that. <laughs> I drive <Yeah>. a Hyundai. <laughs> I have a Toyota. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty standard. Like, just get me to A to B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's look at what. Oh, we didn't even look at the mobile. I'm so sorry. Oh, let's yeah. look at the mobile. Let's look at it really fast and then we can switch back. Okay. Nice. I guess, yeah, kind of similar feedback with changing um, how these buttons look. And then maybe, I don't know, like, wh what would you recommend for, like, I feel like that's like a big text box to kind of scroll down. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, this, again, the sentence case, uh, but still, like, I think the way you translated uh, the the design from from desktop to, to mobile is, is, is done well. Uh, and, and I think that this, like the padding from left and right is, is, is good. Mm -hmm. um, there does seem to be a, uh, an issue with the typeface in the sentence again. Um, it's, it seems yes. a little, yeah, it seems mm -hmm. a little hard to read. Yeah. And there's, um, yeah, it just needs a little bit more um, uh, attention in, in terms of like the type of font you're using. Mm -hmm. and, and that could easily be solved with like another, another font that's more sentence case. Uh, or that does more legible in a paragraph form, yeah. um, but otherwise, it it I think the image looks better. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, smaller. It, does. it doesn't look. You can't tell yeah. it's pixelated. Mm -hmm. I think this is more appropriate use for that image. Yeah. Um, I, I do I do like the um, that there are you know that there's multiple versions or multiple photos yeah, in this carousel. Yeah. Maybe like different colors or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. yeah. Um, but otherwise, yeah. The 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 same kind of feedback on the buttons. They do seem even even for mobile there. It's not that they're too big. It's just that they're all the same, mm -hmm. and and you're not sure which one to think, choose. Yeah. So just kind of like uh, take a look at some of the um, the conventions that other other companies are using. Uh, like look at I think look at like Tesla's mobile app. And oh, I've never used their app or I looked mean, at it. I <laughs> mean, I think I think you just by looking at their launch page, mm -hmm. um, like you you'd be able to get a sense of the type of uh, treatment they have mm -hmm. on their buttons. I don't own a Tesla, so I don't think Neither I can I. actually get into <laughs> yeah. the app. But hey, uh, they they do have they do have an elegant design and um, the, the the just a test case of like looking at how they treat buttons. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, that'd be a good yeah. place to look for inspiration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think car car apps are, are you're you're gonna now get a car and have an app that comes with it. You know, that's so it, crazy so, to think about. Yeah. Well, <laughs> even to think about like who's a tech company and who's mm -hmm. not a tech company, yeah. like. Everybody will be a tech company mm -hmm. because everyone is going to realize that like, oh, we can just have in-house designers, yeah. which which is great opportunity for designers out there. Mm -hmm. Like, just think about all the opportunity yeah. that is going to come your way exactly. as all these companies get more into uh, hiring in-house yeah. people, mm -hmm. like Home Depot, like places like that. Yeah. Right? Like they're they're huge exactly. um, in terms of like the the UX that they're bringing mm -hmm. in and hiring yeah. in-house designers. Yeah, cool. but yeah, really hey. really great yeah, translation great into the mobile. Thank yes. you for submitting yeah. that. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. Um, that's all the time we have for looking at your designs. But if you're still working on them, you can still submit them on Discord and get feedback from our amazing mentors and others in the community. Yeah. And we yeah. love seeing that. Yes. We love seeing your yeah. work. <laughs> we do. And then tomorrow, we're going to be doing portfolio reviews. So be sure to come back tomorrow to share your portfolios and to watch us review. We're going to choose two and review them. But we I have- I cannot wait. Yeah. I cannot <laughs> wait to, to view your portfolios. <laughs> Cause like, like when you, I, I showed mine, mm -hmm. if you weren't here for that, like maybe you can rewatch and look at, or you just go visit my portfolio. I, I still don't love my portfolio. I think we never Same really with me, do, right? with mine, yeah. Like we are so critical <laughs> of our own work. Mm -hmm. I think that sometimes, but we, you know what? You just got to get it out there. Yeah. Like even if it's not perfect, even exactly. if it's not on the right platform, mm -hmm. just get your work out there. Use Behance, mm -hmm. like use it as your portfolio because like yeah. it's a great starting ground mm -hmm. for. Thank you, Tim, for reposting yeah. my, my my website. Yay. Thumbs up. Um, <laughs> I have analytics on too, so I can know where you're, Ooh, where you're from. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, that's also really cool. It's like to know it is cool. where people mm -hmm. are looking at your yeah. website. Like it's awesome. like people are in like like how do people in like Finland know? Yeah, like, like who I am. What yeah. are they? Yeah, what am I doing that's yeah. reaching them? So. It's just really, really cool, cool. To, to see the analytics. So mm -hmm. always embed analytics because yeah. you always need a metric mm -hmm. to yeah, know that to you're like, on to something. Yeah, where right? do people like go first and where do they stay mm -hmm. the longest? Yeah, because yeah. as designers, we are constantly <laughs> seeking validation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's a, it's a good thing. It's a good yeah. thing because we're being constructive mm -hmm. with it, right? Um, so, yeah, so we have like two minutes left. So we can do like a quick yeah. wrap up and then maybe Let's tease a little about what you're gonna do tomorrow. Well, I think what I'm gonna do, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna take this like very seriously and come mm -hmm. back tomorrow and and bring back some concepts based on these, because oh. right, these are just concepts, right? Mm -hmm. And and if you weren't here for the initial um, inspiration, uh, you know, looking at some of these these inspiration sites um, as a way to like kind of like let me know, because like although I really like. Like like mirror like I think mm -hmm. like some of this responsive stuff is kind of strange like mm -hmm. it's left a line but it's in the middle of the page, yeah. um, and and but I really like I really love Stark so mm -hmm. I want to like bring you something that looks like polished yeah um, and then we'll scale it down to iPad and mobile um, yes. and then if if I'm feeling um, uh, ambitious maybe I'll put a little bit of animation in, oh, into it yeah. uh, I was thinking like if I were to do this like this side by side window, mm -hmm. maybe like when you scroll down, it like opens up and then like you kind of yeah. like things shift and That'd like, be you know, cool. so I'll, I'll play, I'll play around with some ideas like that. And then, um, I'll, I'll have like a more established design system for, mm -hmm. uh, for what we're yeah. using in the text. Mm -hmm. Um, that way we're not just kind of like, cause like just looking at this, I could tell like the text is the, the copy is just looking all over mm -hmm. the place. Like I have like <laughs> four different type yeah. bases. <laughs> Um, no, we're definitely ill prepared on the on the text, but uh, and then I'll have um, and then we'll what we'll do is I'll, I'll get it ready to a point where uh, we'll design some like uh, illustrative elements mm -hmm. and and oh, really like kind of bring this to life with mm -hmm. something that's not just um, downloaded from the web page, yeah. but it's actually created by yourself mm -hmm. and, and show you how to yeah. do some like some nice. cool tricks with gradients. Yeah, and the chat is reminding you to share your list of plugins for tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> let me write that down. Yeah, I'll, I'll remind it. You remind me too? Yeah. Okay. All right. But just in case, I'm going to write it down. Yeah, just in case. Because yeah, plugins are going to perform your, uh, help you perform your workflow. Yeah, exactly. You know? I love plugins. So yeah. maybe I'll share some of my favorites yeah. tomorrow too. Yeah, so be sure, sure to come back tomorrow. We'll be here um, at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you to Julian. I thank learned you. so much about accessibility. <laughs> we'll we'll <laughs> learn more tomorrow. I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And thank you to everyone in the chat for joining us and being super active. 
We loved having you here and we will see you tomorrow. Everyone go follow Julian on Behance and check out his portfolio. Yeah, LinkedIn and, too. Yeah, you, you know. yeah, on LinkedIn. Yeah. yeah, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.